Hey guys and welcome to another edition of Burst and Ballers. In this video, I'll be reacting to Thomas Tuchel's press conference before our game against Manchester United. Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers, yeah. We are the risers, we're the performers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah, we're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues, yeah. Like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. So, the news that everyone wanted to know how's Ben Chilwell? How is N'Golo Kante? Well, Thomas Tuchel just had his press conference and he's answered those questions. First of all, the good news is that N'Golo Kante's injury is not as bad as we first thought, and it's going to be a matter of days rather than weeks. So he's going to be pushing it to make himself available for um, Sunday's game. But he should be available for our midweek game. I think we play Watford in the midweek, don't we? So he should be available for midweek. But they maybe don't have to push him back, push it, rush him back for that game. And maybe hold him back for the, the week after. Um, and again, some kind of positive news when it comes to Ben Chilwell as well. So a lot of us thought he'll be out for the rest of the season. But he, um, what um, Thomas Tuchel said is that we're going to reassess him in six weeks time. So, you know, before you start popping your champagne bottles and everything else, we don't know. Because in six weeks time, they may come back and say he does require a operation. I think it was a slight... Um, injury to his um, ACL not as, not as, as, as uh, when the doctors examined it so it wasn't a big tear it was a small tear and um, Ben Chilwell's already started to receive treatment and um, Thomas Tuchel says that Ben Chilwell's in good spirits and he said you know what I've reacted well to this treatment and things could be looking up but what I didn't like was um, some of these journalists, um, they are willing Chelsea to, to fail because he was trying to push Thomas Tuchel on. Well, do you think it's going to be six months? Do you think it's going to be six months? And Thomas Tuchel said, look, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I, I, I can't look into the future. I haven't got a crystal ball. So I was there, like, what do you expect him? And they were still pushing him on that. I think a lot of them wish that it is going to be six months that he's out for so that he can derail our um, push for the um, Premier League. Uh, so, fingers crossed everyone that uh, he, he, he reacts after those six weeks and maybe he'll be coming back, uh, you know, just in time for the January period. Is it six weeks? I can't do my maths now. Yeah, it'll be, yeah just uh, for, towards the end of January. Because it's a, it's a pity actually, because Ben Chill has been in excellent form for us this season. Um, and he went on to talk a little bit about... Um, Ruben lost his cheek and you know how he's doing well he's passed all the expectations um, and but you know he's got to fight for his place because we've got lots of midfielders in that area and he's competing with some very good midfielders but he's still part of the squad he's still be getting some minutes and getting involved in a lot of games so that's great to see um, and it started to get a bit silly in the end towards the end of the press conference because um, first of all they spoke a bit about um, Ralph Ragnick uh, about how influential he has been to in Thomas Tuchel's career and he was sort of he was the one who persuaded Tuchel to get into management so thanks Ralph, Ralph for that um, but he follows some of uh, his philosophies. But, you know, Thomas Tuchel does his own thing as well. But one of the things he taught him was, you know what, you don't have to fall. I love, I love this quote where he says, or, um, one of the things that Ralph Ragnick taught him was, you know what, you don't have to follow players to the toilet, meaning, you know, you know, a lot of English coaching is done to, on that sort of man-to-man -man defending of your attacker. But he taught him about how to defend in zones and getting taken out of these these very good um, tactical positions when out of possession. And we've seen that a lot now. Pep does it a lot. Um, Jurgen Klopp, and we've seen it with our manager, how, you know, we defend the space rather than having to follow the man, the man all the time. Um, yeah, then the, 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 the press conference started to dis, dis, disintegrate again, where, um, cause, you know, there's, there's one thing, you know, there's, um, I think Thomas Tuchel once said he liked ABBA, and he's, 
they just can't get away from it, can they? So they mentioned um, Ralph Ragnick and how he plays the Jurgen Klopp style rock and roll football. And they were saying to um, Thomas Tuchel, no, does Abba kind of cut it you know, against rock and roll football? But great answer again by Thomas Tuchel. And you know, basically saying, you know what? There are different musical genres in the Premier League, but as me as the conductor, I am prepared for all these different genres so I can compose different sorts of music depending on the style of, 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 of the football that we come across. You know, those were my words in a way, but you know, that's the gist of what he was saying. So that's it, guys. That's my quick update for the press conference. Um, I'll put the link in above, you know, it's for, uh, on the Chelsea website where you can see it in full if you haven't watched it already. So on to the next one. Don't forget, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, you'll be notified every time I make a new video. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.